What's going on pipe smokers? This is Devin here. I just wanted to do a quick review on some uh, tobacco that was uh, gifted to me by uh, Mr. Jay Piper. And that tobacco will be, oh, and by the way, I'm smoking this out of my beautiful Savinelli that I got at my work. Let's see. Well, that's kind of hard to see. Okay. All right. Anyways, guys, I will be smoking some Cornell and Deal Engine 99. Let's see if you guys can see this. I hope it's not backwards. Anyways, um, I would show you guys the bag, but I've been smoking a lot of it, and so I only have this much left. <laughs> So, as you might have, might have guessed, uh, I really enjoyed this tobacco. So, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick description on this tobacco, and uh, we'll get going from there. Let's see. So, the tin note on this tobacco, this is a ketchupy smell, kind of a barbecue smell. It's, um, it's smoky, uh, ketchupy, and it's just got that traditional uh, English uh, smell to it. Definitely not an aromatic, definitely not a Virginia. You know you're smoking in English with this tobacco. And so, I looked up some, uh, uh, looked up some information on tobacco reviews on this tobacco. And so, this is a full English blend. And it's a... I'll read a brief description. It's a combination of number 968 Red Odessa which is itself the same blend as number 968 Odessa, but with Red Virginia. Substituted for the Cavendish Cut Burley and number 970, the unpressed components of Pirate Cake. Now, I don't know what that means, but uh, that's what it said there, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay. And, obviously an English style. The contents of this blend are Burley, Latakia, Oriental Turkish, Perique, and Virginia. This is a coarse cut tobacco. And, um, let's see. And you can buy this at smokingpipes.com or Pipes and Cigars. Okay, now we'll get onto the flavor. I have been smoking this for the past um, couple days or I actually tried this blend when I was at work, working on some pipes, and I just wanted to do a rough review on it. I just um, I just had a few bowls of it, but I wanted to to sit down and uh, you know give my final thoughts on this because uh, I'm running out of this tobacco and just give a quick review, a quick update on um, if this is any is this any good, if I like it, and so anyways. Um, the first light of this, uh, I could automatically tell this was a blend that I was definitely going to like. Uh, the first time I smoked this, this reminded me a lot, a lot of a lot of the Dunhill blends. Specifically, Dunhill 965 and uh, Dunhill Nightcap. And Dunhill Early Morning, but that's more mild. Um, haven't tried the London mixture, the Royal Yacht, things like that, the Elizabeth uh, mixture, that's a uh, Virginia. But anyways, it definitely reminded me a lot of this. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to look on um, tobacco reviews and uh, they're actually a bit similar. Uh, Dunhill Nightcap, this tastes, the, by the way, this tastes the most to me, to my palate, like uh, Dunhill Nightcap rather than 965. It's stronger than, this Cornell Engine 99 is stronger than 965, but maybe a bit more mild than uh, Nightcap. So, I just went ahead and I wanted to compare these, and um, they both have Latakia Oriental, Turkish, Perique, Virginia. The only thing that's missing is the Burley, I believe. And so anyways, let's get down to the flavor. The flavor I really enjoy. Excuse me guys, let me light this real quick. Yeah. From the first few few puffs of this, um, I automatically fell in love with this. Like I said, it reminded me a lot of uh, Dunhill 965. 
But the only thing that I noticed was that uh, it's been a while since I've had that, but I've had a good share of 965. I've noticed that it gave me more of a, a peppery, spicy uh, little characteristic to it. And that, what I strongly believe, uh, is the perique in there. The perique in this uh, Cornell and Dill. Uh, 965 does not have perique in there, so I noticed when I was smoking this and I was working, I was working on some estate pipes, doing some restoring, and you know, just chilling, just, and I'm just in, enjoying a good smoke. I was like, wow, this is some good stuff. Nice flavor. It's got a good strength to it, which is definitely a, a plus for me. And, uh, but I noticed that it kind of tickled my nose. It kind of, um, you know, because I, 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 I strongly think it's from the Perique. But anyways, I really love this tobacco. From the first few puffs, uh, I fell in love with it. And it's the flavors itself. It starts off with this real nice, mm. it's definitely earthy. It's uh, got a lot of pepper and spice, which I believe is from the Perique. I like it's got burley in there. I don't know if I could detect the burleys, but it, to me, what stands out for my palate, I've, I've looked on tobacco reviews to compare what other people have, have thought about this, with how they describe this. But to me, when I smoke this, it's got, definitely hits you with the spice right in the nose. I could feel it right now, the tingle in my nose. The spice, the pepper, it's earthy. It's, um, it's got a nice, um, slightly sweet richness to it which I think I remember in 965 and Nightcap. I'm not sure which one has more. And it's also got a, um, it's, it's got a very distinct for me, like if you get raw coffee grounds, raw black coffee grounds, and uh, for those of you who ever, who ever tasted that, um, it just tastes like that, just like nice black raw coffee grounds in a good way, rich. It's got a bit of a sugariness, uh, could be from the Burleys, I could be wrong. But it's just got, it just, it, it hits you right away with the pepper and the spice, which I really enjoyed. I like a good strong tobacco and I like to mix it up. And it's just, uh, so you got the pepper, the spice going for it, um, which just, it stood out to me. I was like, wow, this is smoking, uh, this is like smoking 965 with a little extra in it. And so... Excuse me, guys. Let me relax this. Mm. So, anyways, um, like I said, I love this tobacco. This is a uh, my overall thoughts on this. Uh, if I had to rate it from a one to ten, I would give this a solid eight. This is definitely tobacco. Um, that I've tried. I haven't tried that much of it, but I'm already hooked on it. I really like it. I would love to compare it with Dunhill 965, uh, Dunhill Nightcap. It's an awesome smoke. Um, I just love the savoriness of it. You know, it's got a richness, like I said. It's got that, that upfront coffee flavor. Almost, I would say, maybe like, like a black coffee or an espresso. It's got an earthy flavor. It's got a nice, you know, almost you'd say woodsy flavor, smoky flavor, obviously. And it's just got a, you know, you get that perique, that spice and pepper. So I would say if you're a fan of Dunhill products, at least, um, you know, Dunhill Early Morning, Dunhill Nightcap, Dunhill 965, I would say I would recommend this to be in your rotation. Try Cornell and Deal Engine 99. There's so many Cornell and Deal products out there. I've, this is actually my first Cornell and Dill product, but I would say that uh, this one would be something that's definitely recommended if you're like if you're a Dunhill fan uh, for the English styles. And so I would definitely try this. I give this one a thumbs up. Uh, I love this blend, and uh, I'm gonna need to go uh, order some. And so uh, thank you guys for watching this review. Uh, you know, comment if you have any questions or. You know, if I uh, if you have anything to add to that, 
And, uh, you know, definitely you guys that like Dunhill tobacco, I would definitely try this. And so go out and buy some, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you later. God bless.